basic tutorial with Jared Robinson on blocking hooks and then countering back. There's a couple ways to do it. We're gonna go over it and then Jared's gonna kinda help me understand the differences between them and what each one is good for. Yes, sir. In boxing or other pursuits where you hit people, hitting people is good, not getting hit is good, not getting hit and hitting people at the same time is great. Here we are. This is pretty much just a basic uh, template for reaction punches. So I'm gonna have Mike, he's gonna put his hands up in a high guard defense. Um, we're gonna show this opposite side reaction punch. I'm gonna hit Mike here, he's gonna counter back with this left hook. Again, here, here, again, here, here. Again, nice. Let's do opposite side here. Roll and come back with this counter opposite side here. Again, ah. again, ah. again, ah. two more. Last one. Good. So one of the one of the things that's that's sometimes takes a lot of coordination to get done. You're, you're blocking on one side, remembering. I, I can never make that work mm. ever. I for, do this. Yeah, for me. When you train or, oh, okay. When Period, you, I, I, can't, I can't do them well. I do same side. Same side, got it. Same side, like, and you prefer same side as well, right? I, I there's a difference. Go in, man, okay, go in, so, say it. So there's it's a preference. This is the problem, this yeah, is the problem, this is the Jared. Problem. I do YouTube for a living, <laughs> let me explain. This is the problem is we say, yeah. like that we like a certain way or one way is better. Do mm -hmm. you know what we're really saying? One way is better for me. Mm, that's what we're truly saying. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So guys are like, no, my coach taught me block right, exactly. counter. And they always leave with that. They dude. deflect it off of themselves and they, they, well, they start with Dude, if you're yeah. wrecking dudes with that shit, like, yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Like, even to the point, like, know why you're doing it. Right, you so know? I've always done, if they throw, boom, mm -hmm. I throw whatever, and the way I teach it is, whatever arm they hit, mm -hmm. that's the one you throw. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just for me, that's always worked better. Yep. So can you help us understand the difference? Why you would use either one or maybe why I can't make the other one work. Right. Okay, so I like what you're saying. High guard, put your high guard up. You're getting hit from here. They're attacking you from this side. So you want to attack the side that they're yeah, throwing so you from. So. My, my logic is if your hand is here, uh -huh. it is not here. Absolutely. It's it can't be. Absolutely. This one might could be. Yeah. It's definitely not there. And if you pull the trigger right away, boom, bop. That's my logic. Yep. So now as I look to that, that kind of format I gave you, mm -hmm. four corners, Yeah. and then what, what changes from why I would throw from the other side if I was hit right. on this side would be the distance change. The distance, so, okay. So if I'm here, right. how are you going to throw your straight right? Oh, I can't. It's, it's stifled. Yeah, it's stifled. It's yeah. muffled. And, and then you would have to answer back with this. Right. So if that makes sense. So it is more so, uh-huh. And so if I'm here at this distance, you got room for the straight right hand? Yeah. If I'm here, uh, like that. So I should try to know both. You should, definitely, absolutely. And that's, yeah. that typically always is the answer. Yeah. And you need both. That's why I've, I've, re I've gotten on my soapbox and been biased about certain things, uh, certain techniques. And then do dialogue with people, mm -hmm. you know, long dialogue with people, yeah. arguments, <laughs> and uh, back and forth. I realized just to say, oh, you need both. Yeah. And that just solves all my problems. So if it's range, range is the issue, it might be because people generally have a much easier time keeping someone like me at bay. I'm generally going with someone a okay. bit taller. Right. So they're keeping me at bay with that lead hand, mm -hmm. and it makes me want to throw mm -hmm. that same side one. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's ridiculous if they throw a long like lead hook or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, this is not gonna yeah, happen. It's not gonna happen unless I do like a like a big movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that might be why I've, I've preferred that right hand off of that one. But on this side, it's always been for me uh, this one like this, mm -hmm. or if it's low, that one like that. And let's actually let's show them that real quick. Show them like specifically what we're doing. Okay. Coach here is if he hits me low. It's gonna be that uppercut typically. If he hits me high, it'd be that one. Over on the other side, that one, and then that one. That's generally, and that to me is a great way to get get good. You know what I mean? You you just stand there with it. You hold pads for somebody. Yeah, and, and I, I would say even even to the point, I typically tell my clients close yeah. your eyes. 
Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Hands up. All right, all right. All right. I'm going to try it. I'm about to look. <laughs> That's Listen, good, though. Yeah, it, it just hits to let you know uh, what senses you're using. You're using all right. your eyes. You're using about to prove all right. All the guys are like, fuck <laughs> sucks. Yeah, dude. All right, I'll try it. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> dude, you underestimate how important your eyes are. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm not going to hit that. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. ah. Good. And so when I do get a client that's kind of struggling as yeah. you are, then I'll say, slow it down. Everything okay. doesn't have to be so fast. Yeah. And then we go like this. And I say, process it. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. So yeah, then then that just yeah, I want dude, them to be successful. Dude, so. you you think so a lot of people I bet would think Okay, no, I can do that. It's a reaction. I'm reacting to the stimulus. Yeah. Your eyes are so Ooh, important. Man, man, bro, I've had clients I, they would do this. Yeah. And I'll hit them there and they will forget where I hit them. And they will yeah. throw a, a opposite punch somewhere. And I'm just like, what? And it's not so far fetched. Those of you, especially when you first start fighting at like the beginner amateur uh, level, yeah. there's time periods where you can't see. Mm -hmm. Like you, your eyes are open and the lights are on. But if you go back and sit on the corner, you're like, I didn't see what I was getting hit with. Right. It's very possible as a beginner that you end up something like this and you're just mm -hmm. trying to instinctively throw. Mm -hmm. So I think building these reactions solid. It's solid. really important. It God, is. we're going to have to try that. It I know is. what we're doing in boxing class on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> There's two more where one, two, three, four is what we're talking about and then this jab to the body. How you can <gasps> potentially go react to, to the that. body. <laughs> the reaction shot to the body. Which on way a do jab. I have? Which one? Which way do you go? Which one? So, there's That's two ways. Uh, just no. in general, comment down below. Are you a same side gang mm. or are you opposite side gang? Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. That's what I want to know. I wonder what the split is. Because I do same side. I was taught yeah. same side. You, mm -hmm. I think, teach same side probably. that You prefer that. What do you think? 60? Yeah. Uh, 60 I, I, I would say I'm 50 50. You are 50 50? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I will I'll be able to read the person and figure out what I need to. But when I throw see back. content online, I think I see opposite side more. Okay. I think I see that more online, but I see same side more in gyms. I think. I'll say. Comment below. Help us out. Yeah. So yeah, uh, adding in addition to those four corners here, looking at that jab to the body, and which side do you go to? Right. So the side I go to is what my coach taught me. I would think it's this the, side because I've loaded it. Um, oh, you I was wrong. <laughs> you could. You could. All right, help me out. I, I, don't, I don't prefer that. Okay. <laughs> I, don't prefer, I don't prefer that method. That's just a different method than I prefer. But I think about the thumb. So we're actually being a little bit violent with this block. Nice. And we're actually trying to break the thumb uh, with the elbow. So it needs to be on this side. Oh, that yeah. I've always taught blocking. What we're actually what we're talking about right now is which which, which elbow way is preferable. Mm -hmm. This one, I prefer. Same side, mm -hmm. but I tell everybody if they're we're practicing it, it mm -hmm. just do block punch. You just block, block punch. Yeah, yeah. But so we're actually trying to do some. Hey, uh, Ed behind the camera. Ed's a Jeet Kune Do guy and a, and a, and a, a kung fu guy. Do you do? Yeah. Kung, yeah. Uh, so we're doing we're doing limb destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's got me out here breaking thumbs. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to as the person is jabbing, you're catching them on the thumb. Am I doing this right? Uh -huh. okay. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Keeping keeping the glove high, not uh, not waver on that because you it's want not, to be able to protect. It's not this, right? Yeah. I'm cutting that elbow in so this glove, my glove still stays up here. Absolutely. So I'm coming in, thumb side, and then he throws the counter punch on top. So what what we will find is also it gets confusing to what side the thumb is, and so I don't use that as a quite as a reference. I lead with it, but then also I think about looking down the scope. So this helps understand which side to go through without thinking about which side the thumb is on from their opponent. And the thumb, 
people get these boxing gloves on, they're really well designed at absorbing impact like that. But if yeah. you've ever caught a thumb Ooh, on an elbow yeah. or something like that, your thumbs, even if you wrap them, that's a yeah. real, they weren't meant to take any impact ever. Not as much, not, not at all. So then now, so, and then I just have the person think about their counter punch more so. It, it's obvious mm. that this is loaded next. Yeah, so, and typically when a person does a jab to the body, their head is dipping over here, which puts them in direct sight of the cross. And so, opposite side, if I'm going right hand to the body, I don't want you to think about what side the thumb is on, I want you to just react yeah. with where the head is. So right. it's more of a you're so, scope. If you did what you're supposed to do, right. you're supposed to take your head off that way when you throw the cross the body. Right. You're supposed to take your head off that way. Facts, yeah. facts. So here, ah, that's the shot. So it's a, it's a mechanic behind it, there's a reason behind it um, that's short scoped and longer scoped as far as where the thumb is and how you can create damage, make a person pay for throwing the punch and then how to make them pay for miss missing the punch. Yeah, and make them not want to punch you anymore. Absolutely. That's the basic reactions and then uh, actually a, a more thorough and in-depth explanation that I bargained for. Uh, you can go follow Jared. I'll put links down in the description below. He's at Sacred Boxing, uh, making the hardest sport easy. Yes, sir. Uh, he explains things in a way that's more accessible to beginners and, and intermediate and getting on into advanced. Like he can speak to everyone at that level, which not, not a lot of coaches can do.